Welcome back to the Brapper Dan YouTube channel where I share my dirt bike riding adventures and progress with you guys. Right now we got the TM MX 250 behind me. We haven't seen this bike in a little while because it's been in the shop. If you guys noticed from my last few videos, I've only been riding my TM MX 144 for probably about the last three to four weeks. So I haven't exactly explained to you guys what this bike was getting done to it or why it was in the shop. All I really said was it was getting some much needed upgrades and that it did. Up front here we have the forks revalved and resprung. And in the back here we also have a new spring on there. We got a white spring now and we have uh, the rear shock revalved also. So last time I rode this bike I said this is the last time I'm riding this bike with motocross suspension in the woods because it just became unbearable. And these TM MX versions, the motocross versions of these bikes, come extremely stiff for pro tracks and pro level jumps and stuff like that to absorb those impacts, but I don't ride like that. Regular viewers know I'm an amateur motocross rider and I just started riding motocross tracks and learning how to jump and stuff like that, but I'm in the woods a lot and I need something that's a little softer than how this bike comes, or actually a lot softer. This suspension is all redone, professionally redone, set up for my weight exactly. The sag is set properly. We do have the clickers down there that we can play with if we want to go softer or stiffer. So I know you guys don't want to stand here and stare at this bike all day. You want to see me ride it, right? So let's rewind this to earlier in the day because I already did ride it. That's why it's so muddy. And let's see that footage. me a little weird but totally not used to it yet you got to remember this thing had motocross suspension on it and it was super stiff and the seal head was bad in my rear shock so it was getting stiffer and stiffer so this thing was beating me up but this is a definite improvement i should tell you that much but the bike's gonna handle so different properly before or anything so so slippery out here it's like ridiculously slippery no traction at all for motocross and trail riding it's probably not the best idea I don't really want to be like blowing through the stroke my case a jump or you know I'm not very good at motocross yet so I think 
think the uh, clickers are set somewhere in the middle, so I could probably go softer. actually. Well, it's definitely softer. Like you guys can see, I put this up and I push down on these forks like I know it's probably hard to see with the GoPro, but they actually compress now. Where like before they were so stiff you could barely even compress them. And uh, I think we used to have a yellow spring on here or a blue spring and now we got a white spring. And uh, when I sit on it, I mean, it doesn't compress that much. But, I don't know, wait, maybe we could soften it up even more. Get it to feel even a little more plush, but I think it's going to take some time riding this to really kind of get the feel for it and see how the suspension works uh, on the trail versus on the track and uh, maybe play with the clickers but overall uh, it feels uh, uh, like night and day you know night and day difference but overall it does feel like a pretty night and day difference especially like over the rocky parts and stuff like that. before I couldn't even sit down if I sat down over a rocky section um, it would just like shake your brain and your head and like give you a headache. Not that I'm riding through the woods sitting down the whole time, but every now and then you want to be able to put your butt on the seat. And uh, wasn't really able to do that before. It's so slick out here, guys. I'm just trying to go easy, but I'll try to pick up the pace a little bit for you here. <laughs> That's a weird shaped rock. Ugh. What do I do? I think don't hit that rock. Look right at it and what do I do? I hit it of course. I think I just bent my lever even more. tired cramping up that hand and wrist is still after a year after being broken not a hundred percent and if I, my hands start getting tired it's always that when it gets tired first and that wrist oh like right now all oh, through the palm of my hand is so painful it's just not up to full strength 
and I work, every, you know, I work a physical job and I stretch it. It still doesn't have 100% movement, so trying to get full throttle, that's about all I can get. I kind of have to regrip if I want full throttle. Well, it's midsummer. Beautiful scenery, but the rain just stopped and it's about 90% humidity right now, and it's about, I don't know, 80 something degrees probably. Well, it's definitely a lot better than it was, that's for sure. Um, do I need to play with the clickers? Maybe, I don't know. I'm going to bring it to the track tomorrow, I believe, and we're going to see how it feels on the track. But uh, it definitely felt better in the woods. kind of felt like it was bouncing me differently than before. Like it was bouncing a lot before, but it was bouncing um, definitely more like in a jarring fashion. Still a little bouncy. Um, almost feels like it's rebounding real quick, which maybe that is better, but I, I don't know. Like I said, I'm just going to have to spend a lot more time riding this to see if I can get comfortable with it, if it's, you know, how it handles in the woods and on the track and everything like that. And then um, maybe we'll start playing with it after that if, it, if I'm not feeling comfortable with it. But as it sits right now, I'm very happy that I got this done. And uh, it was... It was much needed, long awaited. And uh, he said if I'm not happy with it, I could bring it back and he would, uh, he can change it up for me. So, and if we wanted to go softer springs or something like that, um, we can do that. So, doesn't have to be fine. This is, this doesn't have to be the, uh, the final way that it sits, you know. We could definitely still make some changes and get it dialed, but definitely an improvement. So, I'll see you guys in the next video uh, when I'm at the track riding motocross with this beast. I'm going to go to MX23 and try her out. Subscribe, give me a like. See you next time. Peace.